In a studio that's in a basement comes the epic story of how two friends changed the future of the movie podcast game forever. <laughs> the reviews are in. Boys Life Magazine gives the High Sci Podcast four and a half acorns. The Daily Bugle says, these guys are super legit. And Pope Francis declares the podcast as life affirming. From the kid who tried to get smart with David Spade and got fucking old. You're still out. You're still back. And the guy who can name all four Baldwin brothers. Alec, William, Daniel, and the baby boy, Stephen. Live from the studio of his parents' basement, the Have You Seen It podcast. Hello and welcome back to the Have You Seen It podcast. My name is Mason Knight and sitting across from me is the one, the only, Cash Krause. Yes, it is I. It is I. <laughs> it is you. Yes. I. You. Uh, back again for our second episode yes. of our new TV Tuesday uh, series, Sacred Games Season 1. One. And there are two seasons currently sitting on Netflix. Absolutely. So, uh, we will be doing both back to back. So you'll have two full months of Sacred Games. It is a crime thriller web series yes. starring Nawazun Siddiqui, and it's got a whole lot of other a people. A plethora of people. <laughs> you could say a plethora. You could. I think. I think that's actually okay to use. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you I are. Think it's usually, I'm about or, uh, loosely used. Sixty <laughs> percent sure that yeah, that is used correctly. So we will go with it. Right, a wide range. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, yeah, episode two uh, gets right into it. It does. Just hey. like episode one, remember in episode one, quick recap, last thing that happened, yep. I was doing, himself. himself right in front of uh, Khan. Yes. That was kind of jarring for everyone. It was <laughs> surprising, I'd say. Yeah. And then we open up on a group of officers just essentially being like, oh, you think the boss shot him? How'd the guy get the tip? You know, it just kind of yeah. all... Just dicking around. I don't even know they how they... never take their job serious. <laughs> I feel like these cops never take their job serious. No. Khan, uh, uh, Sartage, I feel like, is the only cop who gives a fuck about he is anything. The, the 1% on the force that is just doing it, not even going above and beyond, but just, just doing, doing his, his job. job. Yeah. <laughs> not like he's a super cop, but just literally doing the job he was hired on right. to do. But, yeah. uh... Yeah, he's a he's a good cop, but he's got con he's connected to this crime now. He is. You know, this could be his little baby bro. He didn't even know about. Yep. Just popped himself in the fucking head. And I don't get how they could think he killed Nawaz from the angle that he shot himself. He would have to have been by on the the side of him. Okay. Yeah, we'll it jump like into that. I know. In the middle of is the there episode, there no forensics. Well, not to jump around in the episode, but when he gets suspended, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, what? I'm like, what? How is that? Yeah, forensics. Like, he shot himself <laughs> sideways. You he didn't pull a gun out and, and put it in the, the yeah. front of his head. Say, hey, come yeah. here, come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> what? Does he want to run? Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. It is wild. That's that's wild. But the uh, the, the episode opens up with but, basically yeah, exactly. um, Cartage going over to the dead body, the woman's dead body. Right. And this is important later on in the episode, but he looks down and he notices she's got car keys. Yeah, this is the dead woman. Uh, the Nawa shot in the opening shot of episode one. right at one. the fucking start, yeah. yeah. Shot two people that day. Yep, that's for sure. Both headshots. Yeah. So he's doing <laughs> two for two. <laughs> His accuracy is phenomenal. It's through the roof. 100%. Yeah, or should I say through the skull. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, yeah, so now they're, they're still, they don't think this woman was like a prostitute. They think there's something more or something to Well, her. they think... The, the, the schlums who aren't doing their job just yeah. say, oh, yeah, she's a prostitute. Exactly. Leave it at but, that. Uh, but Khan and uh, Apte think exactly. it's a little Exactly. And we were introduced, we're introduced to Apte in this episode, we are. right? Season yes. two. Uh, and she's a investigative journalist? Yeah, an investigative journalist well, is what I, I I'm guessing. Up on. Yeah. Maybe they call it something different, but I'm pretty sure it's along the lines. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, a good one. She's just allowed into any crime oh, scene. Oh, yeah. And they're bugging. They're listening to phone calls. I'm yeah. like, man, all right. Well, fucking uh, Khan knows he can't rely on the actual police force. He's got to go to outside sources yeah. for this one, which is uh, yeah. 
It's never good. No, it's not. But. And then right after this scene, we get introduced to two new characters. One is uh, Mr. Bonsley. I know. Bonsol. At this point, I'm thinking, oh, God, how many characters? Oh, we know how many lot. characters are in Indian film. Mm-hmm. How many are they going to pack in this fucking TV yeah, show probably that I have lot, to know? <laughs> and everyone, I'm guessing, is going to have a background story. Oh, for sure. Or an origins tale at one mm-hmm. point. But, yeah, we get introduced to the politician. And he's got, like, some political rally. This guy is familiar looking. I know. Yeah, I've yes. seen him before. Yeah, we've seen him in things. something. Yeah, that's for sure. He's probably just the biggest star yeah, ever. One of the We're biggest stars. Get railed yeah, in the roasted <laughs> in the comments. Like, how dare How you not know this man's you. name? <laughs> But look, we're still learning. We're Come trying. live in India for a year and <laughs> yeah. you appreciate this man. But yes, uh, he is a, a, a corrupt politician, I would yeah. say. Yep. And we get introduced to a c- corrupt actress. Yeah, which, you know, she's taking pictures and she's like, you're a disgusting pig. This is my last film. I feel like that's probably actually how Hollywood works. Yeah. They're always like, oh, yeah, pretend we co-star as best friends. I they feel like you probably other. wouldn't do it on the red carpet, though. No, I'd say that's a little ball. <laughs> maybe at the premiere, not uh, <laughs> maybe in closed doors office right. situation. Not when uh, people can literally take pictures of, uh, you know, or record you. Because it's just going to hurt the film that you're in. It will. You know, you don't You don't want to do that. Business first. Yeah, Friendships <laughs> last. Well, fuck, I would have broke up that off before the fucking... Yeah, uh, no. Back. Oh, he was the guy who threw the dog off. Right. Yes. You can't forgive him for that. You can't. There's no fucking way. Yeah. Yeah, no... Ha- and it's just dangerous he for people to be fucking below. Martin Scorsese. <laughs> you just can't. Yeah. You throw a dog off a 50-story balcony. Right. I, for- I totally oh. forgot he was that guy. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, no repercussions that on that. They're just... What, people were just throwing their dogs at the window wheel. Bro, they got a lot of stray dogs in India, so they're just like, whatever. <laughs> they just throw one back up. Yeah. <laughs> just send one back up the elevator. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, here's your new dog. But, uh, yeah, we're introduced to them. We Not are. sure yet how they're going to uh, how it connects. play into the film. Yeah. And then, you know, she's walking away, and then she looks at the phone and notices that uh, Ganesh is dead. Yes. And she's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, everyone's connected to this fucking guy. Somehow. Well, she gets in the car later on. And she ends up uh, threatening someone. Yeah, she threatens someone because she's like, hey, if my name gets out, yeah, I'm everyone, releasing yeah. everyone else's name. So something's So going they're on. all connecting this really fucked. Somehow they all, I'm guessing, I mean, it has money involved in some way or the other. Right, that would but, be my uh, guess. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, somehow they're all involved in this. Then we get a more Nawazuddin origin story. We do. We get to learn that he got into the garbage business. Well, hell. Which is a, a business that the mob fucking loves. Even they do. even in America, the, the mob runs like the garbage in New York. Well, what did what did they say? It was like seven million rupees a day that they made or yeah. something like that. And I guess it garbage? was just going through the trash mm-hmm. and like picking out shit. Yeah. I don't know how it works, but count me in. If I can make seven million rupees. No idea, a day. but the garbage business is yeah, it's uh in New York, they just get the, the fucking mob gets money from it for like from the union and shit. Of course, you don't see them going through the no. trash like mob <laughs> guys and be like, "Oh, <laughs> they're in a guitar neck." Suit. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, but it's a big fucking business regardless. It is a big and business. Na- Nas wants in. He wants in. He wants the land. He wants to put his yeah. home in the middle of the garbage. And let me tell you. Uh, not not uh doesn't have the gift of the gab. No. Yeah, no, <laughs> he, he's say. never negotiation. It's just a, <laughs> a straight up okay, I'm here, I want this, I and want I'm going you to take you it. gotta go. Yeah. And the guys surprisingly never take this well. No, they don't. You know, people Always don't upset. like to be uh, you know, destroyed <laughs> or taken over. So you get the fucking the the mob boss of the garbage. He's just sitting on oh, a pile yeah, of yeah. garbage, but uh yeah, we. It's uh, hilarious too because they they go into the bar and like drag Nawaz out and beat the piss out of him. Oh, they do. Remember they're Poor dropping bastard. fucking elbows. Elbows, ah, yeah. Ah. Those hurt. Never they screams. No, never no. screams. He's, he's a, a sick man. man. Well, he's a he's a psychopath. We got to talk about right before that scene because this was very important. He takes his buddy, his partner, out, and they're checking on their gold that they buried from uh, right. Salim Kaka. And they keep going back out in the woods every night to check on it. He's right about. He's about ready to kill his own partner just because of the greed. You know how it is. Yeah. You know how it is. Well, he taught him, he taught him treachery. He did. <laughs> and uh, the jaguar comes out and he goes, I don't know if this was to save my friend or to let me know that I'm not just right. the king of this. I'm the king of the jungle and everything. And he wasn't even like, even when the when his friend turned around, like he, he didn't even still, hide it. No, he didn't. He was like, 
boop. I was going to kill you. Yeah, I was going to kill you, but you got lucky. Things and the guy's just like, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, he tells him later on, he's like, are you scared of me? He goes, yeah, I'm a little scared of you. I mean, <laughs> you almost killed me in the middle of the woods for no reason. Yeah. The only thing that saved me was a fucking mythical jaguar. <laughs> I took him out of the goddamn fort. I mean, that's one in a million yeah. odds. I should be alive. How about a conscience guy? Anything. <laughs> Is there anything else telling you not to kill him, like your know. best friend? <laughs> A giant fucking jungle cat had to come up to you. But, uh, yeah, he's uh, he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't. He doesn't. He does not. He will kill anyone. He won't. Uh, but, yeah, I don't get why they're going out just to look at the gold. <laughs> You're to drawing sure too much attention. There. I know. <laughs> but if someone tails you one night? You're going out once a week. Uh, yeah, you're eventually someone's going to catch you. Yeah. But uh, but don't forget, it's guarded by a a, a fucking jaguar, jaguar <laughs> which is is nice to have. It's it nice is. to have. But uh, yeah, right. So we get that. We also get introduced to like Nawaz. He's got like a wife who's like, or you know, the lady that's always with him. The oh yeah, his business partner, the oh, one yeah. that was going to hit him with the sandal. Yeah, she yeah. is. Fu- I mean, she's just as crazy as he is. She she's is. down with. I don't know where he found this lady, but. She's ballsy. Every dude. man needs yeah, <laughs> this kind of lady. She well, they is. start a bootleg bootlegging uh, liquor. Yes. Um, I guess company, if you want to call it that, but it's illegal, so it's, yeah, you know, it's underground. But uh, he makes some good money doing that. He does. They make some real good money, but he still wants that garbage. Well, it's never enough. <laughs> it's never enough with a. Well, the gangster. top is the garbage. Yes, and that's where you got to get to. You think bootlegging would be a pretty good biz, but I uh, think there's a lot of money in it. But no, you want got to get to that garbage pile, yep. and he eventually does. He does that through does. hard through hard work, hard work, and uh, some head cut and murder, murder. It Look, was a lot folks, less hard work, a lot more of the murder. The actually, moral now to I the story is: you must have hard work in life, but you also. Must be able and capable of being able to murder people. Yeah, so, and if you can't do both, you're not going to be successful. You know, actually, let me tell you this. Let me add on to that advice. Oh, right. Yep. I'm going to say you can get so good at murdering okay. that you don't need the hard work at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying once you get so good at one of them, right. you can drop the hard work. Okay. Because you can murder anyone. Right. And get straight to the top. And why are you still working hard Would for Would you it? classify murder as hard work or only if you have to clean up the body? Yeah, I think if you just like if you're like out fishing with a guy <laughs> and you just and he just <laughs> put, yeah, that's not hard work. That's not drowning. hard work, is it? No, it's not. No, that's but just it's still smart. smart. It's letting your money work for you. You're working smart, not hard. Yes, and that brother is the American dream. <laughs> it is. All right, but uh, yeah, and he at first he burns his garbage, which as a garbage man you'd be like, yeah, it's yeah, two burn two hundred million dollar business. He burned up all in one day. Yeah, but what Which I, I think you're doing your garbage business. You're trying to look, look to get rid of some of the garbage, right? He can't turn gold into everything. No, well, but he had killed uh, Godem or whoever the leader was of the garbage mafia. So why not just keep all the garbage? I don't know. We got to start. It was out of spite. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, when he's fucking spraying the gaso- gasoline everywhere. Which, Another word of advice: You burn. Let's not get the the. the don't get soaked in the gasoline. Well, he was. He was getting Absolutely. soaked in his own gasoline, which is a very dangerous. He would have went up in a fucking heartbeat for would've sure. Been the end of old. Uh, yeah, he was not. Uh, he wasn't being safe with the uh, with the kerosene hose at all. He was just fucking jo- like he was running through a sprinkler. <laughs> But uh, yeah, of course. But he does burn it down, and no one ever found the body. Could you imagine that? Yeah, well, I guess I'm guessing where it was. Well, <laughs> we saw the <laughs> eight, eight tons of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he and then he watches it with his gal, his mm-hmm. business partner. Yep. But uh, yeah, and they sit like two feet away from it. That Another shit has thing, be hot. Well, and it's got to be bad burning. Gar- oh, it's got to breathing sting garbage so in your lungs. Oh, you don't know what the hell's out there. <laughs> no, it's just asbestos and shit. Getting, yeah, do not sit a little farther back. No, yes. you know you're two feet fucking away from it. But yeah, it's got to be horrible for you. But he's not looking to live long, and no. we know he doesn't. Most gangsters don't. Yeah. Maybe that's in the end why he killed himself because he had an advanced stage four cancer from <laughs> from, breathing from breathing garbage. garbage, garbage. Yeah. It'll get to you. So he said, I'm just going out on my own terms. Well, we get back to uh, Sartaj, which is uh, Ali Khan. Right. And uh, he finds the woman's car. And he's pretty stoked about that because, remember, he took the keys. Yes. And he didn't just take the keys. He snuck in to the the where Nawaz killed himself, right? Zone 13. Yep. And he stole the cell phone. Which will come into play later. Yes. Oh, yeah. He the, he, he found the cell phone yep. of the fucking, uh, of the lady. 
I think it was the lady or Nawaz's cell phone. It was. Yeah. I think. It, I think Again, that's what he Again, shitty grabbed. police work. Yeah. That that's or like maybe a that big was piece the of evidence keys that he grabbed. But I thought that was a cell phone in the bag. He does grab a cell phone. At one yeah, point. yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't know how he got the keys though, unless he took them out of her hand in the beginning of the episode. But I the keys to get back in the zone. Yeah. Well, did he need keys? There's a giant hole in no, the wall. No, to get to the car. Remember? Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't he know. found the car. I don't know. But either way, that was something with Apte that they were mm-hmm. doing. I can't remember either. But uh. But yeah, so uh, yeah, he finds the woman's car and uh, and they search the vehicle, whatever. Uh, and then they find out where she lives, right? And then him and his partner go there, and uh, there's like should not have brought her tens of millions of dollars. Yes, well, <laughs> and <laughs> tens of bodies. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's though, it's at a fucking... King's place. Oh, where right. She went. Yeah, okay. someone slaughtered. A bunch of oh, it's a fucking it was massacre. a blood massacre. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. She just walks through. Uh, yeah, pretty much unfazed by this. I gotta say that final scene though was really funny when she thought everyone was dead and the guy coughs. She goes, Fuck! Oh yeah, <laughs> Boy, she's gonna blow I that guy away. Blow his head off. <laughs> I swear to God, I think she pulled the trigger and there was no more bullets. No, there were no more. Yeah, because I really thought I she, she was, shot him. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and then he finds a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So now that's that's how it ends. What's the big mystery? What's the know. money? What's the massacre? I gotta say though, this show is uh, piquing my interest. Everyone, a lot le- of unanswered questions. Everyone leaves you with more and more answers. Yes. It's gonna be all about how they answer those questions and it how is. determines how and good the show exactly, really is. Exactly, that's for sure. Because you don't want a Game of Thrones it. No, and just not answer anything at all. No. Just don't even make a show if you're gonna Game <laughs> Game of Thrones it. Okay. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. But uh, yeah, <laughs> mysteries. Lots of mysteries. Yep. Who's the actress? What's the fucking shitty politician guy going right. to... Um, what's he going to be involved in? Who knows? Who knows? All right. That's all I got. Episode two. That concludes it. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. This is the Have You Seen It podcast. Like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. If you want to find our podcast in audio format where we do movie reviews, television recaps, movie news, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. My name is Mason Knight. That is Cash Krause. And until next time. Bye.